everybody, I'm Tyler. And I'm Brian. And in this episode, we wanted to talk a little bit more about MPO connectivity as it's rising more and more in popularity, being used for um, multiple applications now in all sorts of architectures by both service providers, enterprise, and the like. Um, we're seeing it being used more and more. You know, there's a lot of benefits to it as bandwidth transmissions grow and grow, but there's a lot more to be mindful of as well, a lot more moving parts and such. Now, you used to work for the, a manufacturer of MPO connectivity. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of those attributes and things that are different that we need to be mindful of? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the main driver for why anybody ever use an MT Fair or MPO connector is you're able to aggregate a lot of fibers into a very small footprint. And so whether you're doing things with parallel optics that you start to see with some of the higher data rate type stuff, but even then, even in a data center just doing 10 gig, it's good to have it in there. But the MPO connector, it's a wonderful connector. However, it does have a lot of moving parts. So one of the things that makes an MPO a little bit different, in single fiber, you use the adapter to basically align the two ferrules. Yep. With an MT, it uses the guide the pins. pins and the guide pin holes in relation to the fiber holes. And that's how they line the two up. So it doesn't take much, right, to get these things off center. And that's why inspecting and cleaning is so important. But also, if you think about it, Tyler, they have a lot of moving parts. So as you plug your MPO into the adapter, there's latches on the side that keep it secure. You have a slider that's on there as well. You have guide pins going into guide pin holes. So you got a lot of stuff going mm -hmm. on that tries to make this happen. And there's a lot of opportunity for connected wear debris. And uh, that's why actually going through and inspecting and cleaning your MPOs is, is, is a, a mission critical thing. Yeah, we got a lot of contractors right now who are starting to migrate into MPOs, and they're just actually wanting to pull their hair out because uh, they're finding it's a lot more painful to keep these things clean. Uh, some of them just say, hey, I, I hate working with these things because there's just it's just a lot of more work. Number one, there's more fibers in there to check. Yes. Uh, yep. But second, even, even the end face of the ferrule, whereas a typical simplex fiber has uh, the radius to it, mm -hmm. that's got a flat end face. So no matter where the, the defect is, uh, if there's dirt on there, it's going to get mashed together and it's going to explode and go go everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this goes back to now to even we've, we've said before, uh, some people might say that there's not an IEC standard for MPO connectivity. There is. It's always been there. Uh, and so making sure that y y you can inspect and clean uh, and reinspect and test according to the IEC standard for MPO is, again, critical, as we've talked about in the past. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you look at it, like you were saying, Tyler, it is a flat surface. So the flatter, the better, right? And you do have a little bit of fiber protrusion where the fibers sort of stand out, but you're basically just talking a few microns. Yeah. So knowing that it's so tight in there, you got to make sure that you don't have any scratches going across the array because other can cause problems, especially if you're doing anything that's using the multiple channels in there. Uh, the other thing, too, is also you, you lose some of the uh, robustness that you have, like you said, with the radius of curvature that you see on, on the single fiber connectors. I mean, hey, it's a great connector. It's a little bit different, kind of like cars and, and pickup trucks, right? One's not better than the other. It just depends on what you're trying to do. And so in the case of the MPOs, you just have to treat a little bit different than uh, what you do with your single fiber. But still, using yeah. the inspection and cleaning process and looking at it for uh, in-face defects is important. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I've I had one person tell me they they view MPO connectivity as a bigger dirt trap, and there's a lot of different reasons behind that. But at the end of the day, you still have to inspect, you still have to clean, clean and reinspect. And the biggest barrier that we've had in the past is people don't like to do it because it, it's perceived as taking yeah, longer. Yeah, it takes a lot longer time. But, but that's that, changing, though, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. We got new products now, like yeah. your uh, Sidewinder, which yeah, is an exactly. automated inspection process. Yeah, so that you know that takes it down to what used to take a couple of minutes, and now it's just a matter of a few seconds, and you can check all twelve or twenty-four fibers or whatever. And again, makes it a lot easier to do the right thing and do that proactive inspection, cleaning inspection. And if you think about it too, the MTP or MPO connectors are a lot more expensive than your standard LC or SC connectors. So again, from a cost standpoint, making sure that you have something that can go through and accurately inspect 
inspect those fibers very quickly to the standard, as well as document those results, right? That's right. That's, 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 that's key, isn't it? Yeah, and you see where MPOs are being used right now. For an for a installer and a contractor, uh, those are the folks who really want to up their game with credibility, so documentation is key for those customers. Yeah, absolutely. So using MPOs, love to hear your stories about how, uh, have you, how you've been using MPOs in your applications. I mean, they're here to stay, and we're, we're seeing them all over the place. Uh, love to hear your stories about uh, the, the work you've been doing with them. Until next time, I'm Tyler. I'm Brian. Thanks for watching. Thank you.